Video posted to TikTok by the mayor of Wichita shows abortion rights activists celebrating after voters in Kansas defeated a ballot measure that would have stripped abortion protections from the state constitution. The vote on Tuesday was the first statewide electoral test on the divisive issue since the U.S. Supreme Court struck down a 50-year precedent enshrining the nationwide constitutional right to abortion. This fight is not over. U.S. President Joe Biden has pledged to defend the right to abortion and on Wednesday hailed the Kansas referendum result as a powerful signal that American women would not let their rights be stripped away. They don't have a clue about the power of American women. Last night in Congress in Kansas, they found out. Biden signed an executive order asking the federal health department to consider allowing Medicaid funds to be used to help facilitate out-of-state travel for abortions as the battle over abortion rights plays out in the states. But this was an incredibly decisive victory and we ran a campaign that was focused on talking to voters across the political spectrum. Rachel Sweet is with Kansans for Constitutional Freedom, a group that supports abortion rights and pressed voters to reject the amendment. Political analysts had expected the Kansas amendment to pass, given that Republicans typically turn out in greater numbers than Democrats and independents for the state's primary elections. But Ashley All, also with Kansans for Constitutional Freedom, said the Supreme Court decision pushed voters to make their voices heard. That day, I think, um, was a wake-up call for Kansans who um, really did think their constitutional rights were protected at the federal level, and they found out that day that they were not. The amendment's failure in the conservative state lifted Democrats' hopes that the issue of abortion rights will draw voters to the party in November's midterm elections.